In this video, I will be going over the following point mutations. You can pause the video right here to look at the definitions, but I will be going over them again later on in the video. The same goes for transition and transversion mutation. Now let's take a look at a normal DNA coding strand. Let's transcribe the coding strand by replacing the thymine with uracil to get mRNA. We could then use the codon dictionary to translate the mRNA sequence to get the amino acid with their corresponding codons. Notice how the TGA codons transcribe to UGA, which is a stop codon, so we do not have to worry about everything else afterwards. Here's everything we just went over. Now let's talk about the mutations. In our first mutation, we can see that cytosine in the normal strand was mutated to a guanine. This is called a transversion mutation because the pyrimidine is changed to a purine. As you can see in the normal strand, the codon AAC translates to the amino acid as ferritin, but because of the mutation, the codon AAG translates to a different amino acid, lysine. This is called a missense point mutation because the codon which codes for the amino acid as ferritin mutated to a codon that codes for the different amino acid, lysine. Another way we can look at this example is through yarn string. The top string represents the normal strand and the bottom represents the mutation strand. The changes in the color of the bottom string represent the change of the amino acid from the missense point mutation and everything else stays the same. For the next mutation, we can see a thymine was mutated to adenine. We can also see that the codon TGA in the normal strand was transcribed to UGA, which is a stop codon. It's different from the codon AGA in the mean strand, which translates to the amino acid arginine. This is a transversion mutation because a pyrimidine was changed to a purine. This is also a read through point mutation because a stop codon is mutated to a codon that codes for the amino acid arginine. Now, back to our yarn string example. The bottom yarn, which is the mutation strand, is longer because since the stop codon is changed to an amino acid, it can keep transcribing and translating codon until the next stop codon appears. For our third mutation, we can see that the cytosine in the normal strand is mutated to a guanine. We can also see that the codon TGC in the normal strand, which transcribed to UGA, which translates to the amino acid cysteine, which is different from the codon TGG in the mean strand, which transcribed to UGG, which is a stop codon. This is a transversion mutation because the pyrimidine is changed to a purine. This is a nonsense point mutation because the codon that codes for the amino acid cysteine is mutated to a stop codon. For a yarn strand example, the bottom yarn, which is the mutation strand, is shorter than the top yarn, which is the normal strand, because since the codon that codes for a stop codon is earlier than the stop codon in the normal strand, transcription and translation is cut short, thus the shorter yarn strand. For our final mutation, we can see a thymine is mutated to a guanine. We can also see that the codon GCT in the normal strand was transcribed to GCU, which is translated to the amino acid. Amino acid alanine is the same as the codon GCG in the mean strand, which translates to the amino acid alanine. This is a transversion mutation because the pyrimidine was changed to a purine. This is a silent point mutation because the codon that codes for the amino acid alanine mutated, mutated to a codon that also codes for alanine. Now for a yarn string example. Both yarn looks exactly the same because, well, thymine changed to a guanine. The codon that also changed both translate to the same amino acid.